like trap house inside the place how are you brother living living well hey it's been a minute isn't it yeah yeah it's been a while it's been good though yeah no brother listen you're one of my favorite favorite acts and uh uh someone to accompany me with i love fucking hanging out with you brother it's always a vibe always a pleasure you know what i mean it's all good man same for you bro yeah, I think the last time we, we were doing a VT in the freezing cold in Trellick uh, Hall of Fame, wasn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, a bit of fan art and that. Yeah, it was fucking great, great vibes, man. Um, yeah, it was my first time there, yeah, I'd never been there before. You'd never been there, no, right? Yeah, totally. He's, uh, you know what, and, and this is the thing, it's one of those like his, history reference points for all things, you know, um, UK graph, so I was very surprised to hear. So what's been going on? What you been up to? I mean, you've been. Uh, I noticed you've been doing the uh, Trap House um, IGTVs. Fucking love. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just hear, hearing reports from around the world, isn't it? I think I've <laughs> yeah. um, got quite a diverse like uh, following on the old Instagram, isn't it? So um, I was I was trying to pick someone from like a different part of the world and see like what what their perception of what's going on is and like how how their life is. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I think it's mad interesting for everyone else to see like how an Italian's getting on in Italy, how they're getting on in Australia and all this and that. For real, for real. You were one of the first people that I saw actually doing that as well, going straight to live stream and then and then um, saving the content and then uploading it on IGTV properly. Like you'd have, you were literally on the cresp of something that... That's because you showed me the app. Since <laughs> you showed me the app, the, the, the thing I downloaded when I was with you, after that, I started making videos on it. On the go. That shit's game over, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the. Uh, you, you gave me the big key there. Uh, is that, a key, is that, that it, you know the I big key. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, brother, come on, come on, talent, talent overall, you know. Um, yeah, I love that, and I just got really engrossed in it. For for those that you that have have never um, encountered or met Trap House. <laughs> creative process like how like I said you've got a real a, a real cunning like marketing uh, or, or what feels like you know how to market yourself what's what's the backbone behind that you know where's that come from um bro, I've been selling things my whole life my whole life just sells and selling and selling and and I think I, I've had like um like a good uh experience with like different people like uh, not a good experience with different people so I can say, like, I went to a different school every year. I uh, moved around a lot, and I encountered a lot of people. So I know how to talk to a variety of people, and 
I know how to sell things. So my name is Trap House. I grew up in London. Where I grew up. It's too open of a question. This is deep. I went into writing through my neighbourhood, the older lot on my estate were writers. They'd always batter the estate, they'd fucking everywhere you go, you see their tags. I like the idea of having a, a tag name as well. Have a little street name if it's cool. I, f I found a lot of mates for it as well. Different parts of the city, different different places with different people. I fucking love it, man. Oh, it's one of my favourite things to do. My main focus when I'm painting is big, bright and bold. I've been fucking around with backwards letters, upside down letters, and that's what I like anyway. The way that I tattoo is different to the way that I graph. I approach each differently. Do you mean? I don't even think people would be able to tell by looking like at one of my tattoos and then looking at my graph that they're from the same person. I don't think so. I think the way that I tattoo is very um, clean, neat, um, and quite quick. That's what I share in common with with the tattooing and the graph. I, I'll do it quite quickly. I don't like to take long uh, doing either of them. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, the way I tattoo, the way that I tattoo and the way that I graph, both completely different approaches. The ultimate inspiration is just whatever's, whatever you are, whatever's like true to you. Yeah. And I, and I think if, if there's been someone similar before, people are already like, uh, they're, they're, they're already attentive to that kind of thing. Yeah. But if you, if the more of yourself that you are, the more I think something uh, marketed is picked up on because it because it is more like a, uh, I find it very difficult to articulate what I'm trying to get out of here. No, but like, I get what you're saying. I do get you saying. So it's why people are like, ah, oh, this, this this thing is so original. Like, this yeah, it becomes authentic. Fun. Yeah, but that's only because they're they're more transparent in 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 the filter between what they create and what they put out is more transparent. I think you see like you see like the issue with like certain like artists that were sick when they were first coming out, then they got onto a major record label, and now there's a massive filter between what they put out and who they are, and yeah. that, all that in between kind of dilutes the amount of originality or like likability that they had from being just like true to themselves and, and having like a minimal filter between what they create and what what is put out thousand percent what a way of putting it it's so true even like certain people are controlled by their marketplace and, and they feel like like i i've definitely had to be conscious of it like with the tattooing trade for example mm. it's like if there's a certain design that i do that becomes popular I'm, I'm, I'm now making a conscious decision to, when it comes to like creating new designs and sharing them on Instagram for people to then want to get tattooed. Am I now drawing a rose because that's what I want to draw on, that's what I want to communicate and that's what's in me? Or am I doing that because I know it will sell and because I know that people will like it? Are you now, are you now creating things based on what you think people are going to like as opposed to what you like that people liked and that's why it was successful in the first place it's a fine fucking line the, the cookie cutter in you says yeah because it's, it's an unbroken record it works it's, it's, mm. but then the flip side of it is keeping your integrity and originality and individuality as being at the forefront of something and not feeling like you're You'll be known as this one thing for too long. Mm. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Um, well, if uh, if your if your current state of play is anything to go by, brother, you're on fucking fire. Keep them fucking Instagram um, IGTVs going, brother. They're they they're sick. I'll do I'll do another one tonight. Fuck it. Why waste time? Big shout out, Chad pals. Big shout out to the fan art. Big shout out to the tattoo. Big, big shout out to the street art. You're a king, dog. Stay for lots of love.